Welcome back, guys, to wonderful. Oh, a building has burned down. Well, there's a surprise. <laughs> to wonderful, beautiful, polluted Esterford. Man, so much to do, guys. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, I want to get downtown going. I want to get Broadway extended and get it all done. So we're going to buy up this tile down here. I did consider going over here and doing a, a hydro dam, but we're go uh, that's going to have to wait. There's, there's, there's so many things to do. It's going to have to wait. We're going to do the pollution down here, I think. Right, what am I going to do? Um, oh, like, do I... Do I do this now, or do I... You know what? F before I do anything, I think I'm going to go up here. Because I've been looking at this. I was I was having a little look through all of the, uh, the info stuff. And uh, I noticed that we've got a nice big oil deposit up here. And I thought it might be kind of nice to exploit that. Let's crank this up. I thought it might be kind of nice to exploit this. What do you think? Yeah? Should we do it? Yeah, all right then. Um, let me pause this for a second because I'm going to get rid of this section of um, track. And actually, if I hold this down, I can just do the whole thing in one go. Boom, boom, boom. Right, cool. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in... Um, I'm going to pop in a road first. And I think I'm going to do this with a... Mm, I think I'm going to try using a, um, a six lane for this. And see and see how it goes. Uh, now I want to run a road, probably along kind of here-ish, is what I'm thinking. Along the edge of this, yeah, I might come a little bit further back. There, yeah, yeah, about there. Right, cool. Then what I'm going to do, and I I was thinking about this, and I thought, yeah, this is potentially a good idea. Right, we're going to need to shift the uh, shift the oil. So I'm going to put um, an, an oil terminal in here. Um, but I was thinking, like, how are people going to get up here, right? I'd have to lay high. You know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put in a passenger train station as well. Oh, yeah. Boom. Then we're going to hook it up with some tracks. Oh, I've put, have I put two, I've put two passenger trains in. Oh, what an idiot. But, these, look, see, I get a refund of virtually the whole cost because I've done it quickly. I like that about this game. It's forgiving. Now, there is a, there is a difference in widths between these buildings. So, I'm going to put this probably a bit further up here, I think. Say, so about there. Just so that I can hook these up in some kind of... Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hook them up like that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuss. I am not gonna fuss. And I'm gonna take this off here, bring it down here, and oh come on! All right, let's hook it up like that. That'll do. That'll do. And yeah, I might just hook it up like pretty much straight. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Right now, I want to put in some roads in here. I'm going to crank that up and let that run, I think, while I'm doing this. The tr at least the trains are connected now. Oh, oh right. Go, go, go. Right. Uh, how the hell am I going to put these roads in? That's a very, very good question. I'm going to go for um, four lane roads. I'm going to run up here, and then I'm going to go across here, and then I'm going to come like down here and then hook up to there right cool then then what am I gonna do um, you know I think I'm gonna stay off putting intersections on here maybe I don't know I, I might actually maybe one in front of the um, the passenger one wouldn't be a bad idea yeah that could work and then run that maybe up there, like that. Then switch to two-lane roads, and just put some spurs. Like, uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Like that, and I'm not going to try and like max. Well, I'm going to. I'm not going to absolutely max the density, but it's going to be fairly close. 
that out there. And what about... See, I want this a bit differently. I want this all a bit... A little bit higgledy-piggledy kind of thing. Yeah, I might run that out a little bit further. There we go. And... Oh, no, I want to come in a little bit. Maybe there. And run that all the way. Yeah, go on then. Right, cool. Th you know what? That will do, I think, for now. So, you know what? Let's pause this for a second. Because we need to run uh, water and power up here. Um, yeah. So, let's, um, let's zone this in. Actually, let's do the district first. Should we do the district first? Yeah, let's do the district first. So, let's put in a nice district round here. Include the train stations. Why not? Why not? A little bit more there. Just extend that a little bit out to the out to the train track. Cool. That works for me. We're going to make this oil. That's generic. This is oil. Boom. See the little icon? So you know what it is. And then uh, we'll change to this. And yeah, now we're going to zone the whole thing in. Now, can I do if I just the the problem with that is. Uh, if I zone the whole thing in, it's it's not going to be good, I don't think. What I'll do... Uh, that's not the alignment that I want. That's the alignment that I want. Let's zone in this part here first. Right, just to get the, the electricity connected. Uh, and maybe this bit here as well. Just to start extending the electricity net. Right, um, electricity. Where can we bring electricity in from... Well, I guess we bring it up from the Nana Giggles roundabout, don't we? It's probably as good an idea as any. And we'll just run it up to, right here, run it across there. Look at the cost of this. Four and a half thousand. Good grief. Good job we've got a million in the bank. We can hook that up to this one. And then continue to run it across here to this one. Now, I could, I could have done a shorter connections and whatever, but I think if you're going to have the power lines, you may as well have them and kind of make a feature of them. Okay, so that's that. This road is going to have to come down here somehow and do, like, something. Now, oh, oh you know what? All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get a bit fancy. Yeah, we're, all right. You know what? We're going to take out two, three, four, five. If you want to put an intersection in, you're going to take. You need to take out at least five, and to be comfortable, probably six pieces of uh, of road. Then we're going to use one of the uh, one of the sexy intersections that you can use, and we're going to put in the clover leaf. Now I go, I'm I'm going to complain about something here. The only alignments that you can have are like every 45 degrees and you rotate, rotate this with the right mouse key, right? And that's it. Those are the only alignments that you can have, right? At which i got to say, I'm not a big fan of because like what if I was slightly off? Then how would I line this up? Now, you can sometimes get it to align by like connecting it to these, but kind of not really. Um, it's something that you guys are going to have to play around with. And I think that... Um, see, this isn't... Th that's like a, a degree or two off from where I would actually like it to be. Let me put it in and you'll see. When I when I hook the roads up... Well, at least I think by my eye, anyway. Uh, right. So I want regular highway. Exactly. I don't think that's... I don't think that's... Oh, I almost put it in the wrong way. That's got to come down there. I don't think that's quite straight, but... Is, see, and look, yeah, it's not. It's not quite... See, it's just at a little bit of an angle. But you're limited to... You know, you can have it that way or 45 degrees. And and that's it. And you can't have anything in between. I, uh, okay, I'm not... not Not a big fan of that. Right. Now we're going to have to do something over here. And I'm not <laughs> entirely sure exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, <clears throat> I, well, okay. I wonder if I could do something semi-kind of, sort of clever here. Um, it's pretty unlikely, considering that it's me 
but but hey we'll give it a try what I was thinking of doing I'm gonna need to take the, the railway out uh, and we'll have to relay that bit of railway uh, and I've derailed the train another disaster uh, so if I bring this down and you see I'll page up take it across this road to like there bring it down and connect oh come on seriously you won't connect to that one? Oh man let's try that again I'll have to be uh, even tighter to this oh, can I I don't think I can be alright which way is the traffic going the traffic's going that way oh actually it's a two way road it doesn't matter oh, I, oh now I can connect oh cool Okay, so we hook that one up to that one, and then we hook this one to this one. Now, can I get, I think it's that one. So, page up, come across two of these, oh come on behave, there, and then page down. Bum. You know, I probably should have taken that up a bit higher, but I just want to see what that kind of does to the traffic flows. It's kind of interesting. At least it should keep some of the t some of the traffic maybe off this road and they just get straight onto the highways. But it may make these roads busy, and we might need to increase these to four lane roads. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. But we'll see. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it goes. Um, but it does mean that. Our traffic from if like if, if people want to get up there, they're going to have to go through the Nanny Giggles roundabout onto the highway, then off this interchange. So at least they avoid this area. So it, I think it still kind of works. Right, we need to hook up to this up here. How are we going to do that? You know, I think I was just going to bring this road uh, down to meet this one. So we're going to have to go up over. So, up, across the train tracks, oh come on, won't give me anything between those two, like, really? Okay, that'll do. Uh, then we page down, bring it down, there we go. Then we'll switch to our curve tool, bring it down kind of like that. Now where do I want to come down to? I want to come down to here. Now, do I put in a bit of a roundabout, or, like, how do I do this? It's a very good question. Um, let's take this off pause. Stuff can, stuff can start. Oh, no, I, I still need to hook up um, water up here as well. Man, so much to do to get an area working, isn't there? Um, let's put in a roundabout. And there and there and there and there and there and boom okay so we've got a roundabout right now let's go to my highway ramps I want to connect this one let's go about halfway oh will you will you do something nice come on yeah, I'll live with that and then we want to do the same kind of thing with this one yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Then we'll take our four-way and bring it down. Boom. Cool. That'll do. That'll do for me. And then we can hook up roads going off over here and maybe put in like a residential neighborhood over here. Oh, yeah, I like this idea. I like this idea. Right, I've got power up here. I need water up here. Good grief. Now, the question is, <laughs> do I do my whole 440 thing, like all the way up there? Oh, man. Are you guys do you guys really want to see me do the whole 440 thing, like all the way up there? Now, this could be a bit painful. Uh, where are we? 480, 440, spur. And I don't, you know, I don't think this is straight. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure this isn't straight. Does it look straight to me?
I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't look straight to me. Doesn't look straight to me at all. Well, I don't know. It appears to be. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to take that up there. And run uh, run some, some across here, I think. So, let's, you know what? Let's do it from the middle. Run this across. No. Oh. Kind of, sort of, perpendicular. Come on, give me... Is that kind of, sort of? I guess it is. Yeah. And... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, cover this area. Just to do it, look, a little bit... I don't want to do the whole 440 thing. Around here. How, how close is that? Oh, almost. I just I, I, I just want to do this quickly because I don't want to bore you guys. That's, the, that's my only issue. And now a little bit closer. There we go. And on the other side. Ah, oh, come on. Didn't get that straight, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll live. Ah, oh, come on, come on, one. And I have to come that much. There we go. And this bit. And we're almost done. Oh, come on. At least that's straight now. I think we need one more bit going up here. There we go. So I think we've got full coverage now. That will do for me. Right, now we can let this run. And we can actually see if this stuff all hooks up. But wow, that's a lot to get one kind of little area going oh and we're hooking up straight away we've got trains coming down we've got passenger trains which are flickering in and out of existence <laughs> what is going on there okay I think I found oh I was gonna say I think I found a little baguette but it seems to have um, sorted himself out um, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to put a spur of railway track around these so that if trains don't need to connect, uh, don't need to stop at these stations or whatever, they can go, they can bypass it. But I don't know whether that's actually needed or not. This, uh, I mean, there are two tracks, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is operating normally. This is operating normally. We'll keep an eye on how many people actually use this. Be, that'll be really interesting to see. Uh, we can zone in some more of this, I think, now. So let's zone in like this area. Now we'll just we'll just keep doing the same thing that we've been doing, just extending it kind of bit by bit. Right, cool. That's that bit done. 